This is uh, uh, almost my favorite scene in just terms of how pretty it is. I'm very lucky I've got one of those constitutions where I never put them away. <laughs> Hello? Now, this scene, which isn't in the extras in the DVD, um, originally, when he answered the phone, he spoke to Heike, who was his ex-girlfriend. Oh. But we cut that whole thing, and then we gave him the different girlfriend at the beginning. Mm. Oh, really? Yeah, but it just shows you that movies are just things... So why, why is Heike no longer his ex-girlfriend? Um, I think because uh, it actually made this next scene when he gets a, a crush on Lucia, it made it like he was damaged oh. rather than actually falling in love. It was, <laughs> made it seem more compensatory. There was such a huge wind machine behind them. And the sound here was so... We, all of these lines, of course, had to be dubbed. Stop! Stop! Uh. <laughs> it's all just rubbish! Do you know that we had a 45-minute meeting deciding on the colour of her underwear? You're not serious. Yeah, and no. Joanna had to bring in, you know, 20 different types of Who was present underwear. at this meeting? That, that fantastic tattoo, by the way. Did you know is, about is that? The, the tattoo is the, is the front cover of her second or first album. Because she really? makes... Really? Yeah. Uh, that's a pretty lame form of advertising. <laughs> well, if, I, if she sells a couple of albums, I'm happy with that. Now, this was a disaster because the lake um, was was about four feet deep when we wreckied and was about 18 inches deep when we shot. So they're kneeling now, <laughs> pretending to to swim, but actually crawling along the bottom, poor things. And Colin got stung by a sort of uh, animal and his, his uh, elbow swelled up to the size of three avocados the next day. Mm. But there's this joke that ever since Pride and Prejudice, every time I do a film with Colin, he always <laughs> falls into water because the girls <laughs> like him in a wet shirt. Thank you. Thank you so much. I know. I'll name one of the characters after you. Talvez possa dar o meu nome a uma das personagens. Oh, <laughs> sure, she's speaking Portuguese. It sounds like Russian. Yeah, it's definitely. I think she may have taken you for a ride. <laughs> she's a, Ru a Russian actress. Tipo. <laughs> Her name, Aurelia Barros, is in fact a friend of ours um, who's, you know took care of one of our kids and has known Em for 12 years. And Em was concerned that she will sue me for the implication. <laughs> the reason she left our employ was because I got fresh fresh with her. But I, that's not going to happen, is it? I'm not going to lead the rest of my life for lawsuits. She's fabulous, this girl. She's my favorite so far. Is she? Mm -hmm. Yes. She's having to do all the work in this scene. Really, really cool. <laughs> Colin is so gorgeous and thirsty. That's such a lie. Look at the smouldering not coming out. Uh, sure. It's my favourite time of day. Driving you. É parte mais triste do meu dia. Oh my God! You could learn a lot from that look. You. I assume you've just cut it in from one of his other movies. <laughs> <laughs> he walks so beautifully, Colin. Have you seen that? Yeah. Those shoulders are sort of up. Yeah. Tense. Movie. <laughs> This is a good bit, I grant you. This is very a happy accident. Happy accident or, or directed? <laughs> uh, I think happy accident. Um, Thomas, if you have to grow up to be one of those actors, Hugh or Colin, which do you think, whose career do you think you'd prefer to pursue? I don't know. I think just you, say Hugh, Tom. Just say Hugh. Just, just say it. Just say it. He's bad. We can all move on. And off you bye. 
No, thanks. <laughs> Thank God. It would have broken my heart if you'd said yes. All oh, right, well. I remember Kira. I remember doing this, and and at lunchtime, talking to oh, Kira about what she was going on to do next, and she said she was going on to do Pirates of the Caribbean. And I remember telling her it would be the most terrible flop. <laughs> she should simply stay on to do extra scenes with us because those pirate films never worked. I don't know where it is. I'll have a poke around tonight Mark, then. Can I say something? Yeah. I know you're. This next scene is um, inspired by uh, pretty well the best scene in the movies, the end of Cinema Paradiso. Do you remember the end of Cinema Paradiso? No. Do you remember that? Where he goes, he goes back and the guy has edited together all the kisses that were cut out of the film. All, all the way through the films, they had to censor out the kisses. And he goes back, and there's a reel of all the kisses that have been cut out of all the films that were shown in the cinema Paradiso. It's just heartbreaking. Now, this is a very good cutaway that, Hugh, if ever you direct a film, this is the kind of shot you should use. Watch. It's very good for transitions. Could be Do you mind there. <laughs> well, that's elegant. Very <laughs> big. That's so elegant. <laughs> Fluid, I think we call that. <laughs> Now, one of the tragic things about everything I've ever worked on is the best bits of the film are always the bits that haven't been done by me. And I love this tape here. And it was shot by a guy called Jonathan, who was around all the time while we were filming. And I told him on the day when we were doing the wedding just to grab beauty shots of Kira. Because it's not hard, though, is it? No. And he did. That these are all so lovely and oblique and... I look quite pretty. <laughs> And I also love the documentary shot of the of footage at the front, which <laughs> shot by a guy called <laughs> <laughs> shot by a guy called Mike Ely. I've, yeah, I know Mike. 